So guys, after many weeks of trying, I finally had a chance to travel to Caltagirone, which is situated more or less in central Sicily and you can reach it by train or bus. Somehow I couldn't find a good connection. So of course it took me some time, but finally I made it here and hopefully we'll have some time to see all of the sights. I have six hours till my train back to Catania. So, as always, I hope you'll enjoy this adventure and we'll learn something together. Yeah, guys, I'll speak to you soon. The town was founded by the Sicils, an ancient Sicilian tribe around the 7th century BC. It later came under the influence of Greek and Roman civilizations. During the medieval period, Caltagirone experienced various rulers, including the Byzantines and the Arabs, contributing to its cultural and architectural diversity. In the 11th century, the Normans played a significant role in shaping the town's destiny, leaving their mark on the architecture and culture. Caltagirone continued to flourish under various rulers, including the Angevin and Aragonese, during the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. The Baroque period saw a flourishing of artistic expression in Caltagirone with the construction of notable churches and buildings. Caltagirone is renowned for its traditional ceramics, a craft that has been passed down through generations. The town's ceramics are characterized by vibrant colors, intricate designs and skilled craftsmanship. The local artisans produce a wide range of pottery, from decorative items to functional pieces, making Caltagirone a hub for ceramic artistry in Sicily. Testa di Moro translates to Moor's Head in English. It's a distinctive ceramic, decorative element, often found in Caltagirone. The symbol represents a human head, typically a Moorish figure, and is a popular motif in Sicilian ceramics. These pieces are used for various purposes, including as decorative ornaments and even as good luck charms. Prices range from 10 euros for a small head to hundreds of euros for larger ones. Check out this exhibition of Moors heads in the Palazzo Comunale Palazzo dell'Aquila. For those interested in purchasing authentic Caltagirone ceramics, Falcone e Passarello is one of the largest and most prominent shops in the city center. Here you can explore a diverse range of beautifully crafted ceramics, from plates and vases to decorative tiles and figurines. Established in 1846, the garden, accessible from Teatrino or Via Roma and Viale Principessa Maria Jose, showcases English-style design by architect G. B. Filippo Basile. Notable features include a liberty-style entrance by Severio Fragapane, terracotta art, a Moorish music stage and historical sculptures. This is one of the most beautiful public gardens I've seen in Italy. The Church of St. Francis of Paola, built in 1593, replaced the chapel dedicated to St. Anthony Abbot. The 1693 earthquake spurred its facade and left flank with a Maiolica plaque depicting St. Francis' miraculous crossing of the Strait of Messina. Now a parish church since 1926, it underwent modifications and houses sacred artworks from closed or demolished churches. The parish devoted to the Calabrian hermit celebrates his feast on April the 25th, marked by devotional visits, traditional processions and a festival with a Sagra delle Fave Novelle in honor of St. Francis' love for fava beans. Founded during the Swabian period, local tradition attributes the establishment of the Caltagirone convent to St. Francis of Assisi. In 1219, en route to the Fifth Crusade in Egypt and Palestine, St. Francis likely made stops in Sicily, founding convents. Initially dedicated to St. Michael the Archangel, it transformed into San Francesco alle Macolata in 1236, embracing Franciscan devotions. Modified in the 16th century, it was rebuilt in Baroque style after the 1693 earthquake. The dome collapsed in 1702. The complex, recognized for its Gothic and Baroque elements, is part of the historical artistic heritage. The Cathedral of St. Julian in Caltagirone, constructed in 1693 following the devastating earthquake, stands as a masterpiece of Baroque architecture. Inside, visitors are captivated by the intricate staccos crafted by Stefano Itta and a notable statue dedicated to St. Julian, enhancing the spiritual ambience of the cathedral. The cathedral's exterior is equally impressive, boasting an imposing facade adorned with columns. Stefano and Giovanni Battista Colasanti, in 1859, contributed to the completion of, of this striking facade, leaving a lasting mark on the visual splendor of the Cathedral of St. Julian, a testament to Caltagirone's rich artistic and architectural heritage. 
The staircase of Santa Maria del Monte in Caltagirone, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a marvel of ceramic artistry and architectural ingenuity. Dating back to the 17th century, it features a stunning ascent of 142 steps, each adorned with vibrant handicraft ceramic tiles. This monumental masterpiece is a testament to the city's rich tradition in ceramics, and it serves as both a functional stairway and an extraordinary outdoor gallery, showcasing the skilled work of local artisans. The staircase not only connects different levels of the city, but also stands as a symbol of Caltagirone's cultural heritage, celebrating the fusion of art and everyday life into a breathtaking display. The Santissimo Salvatore Church in Caltagirone, founded in the 14th century and reconstructed after the 1693 earthquake, showcases Baroque architecture with a prominent facade. Inside sculpted altars by the Mariano artists and wooden tribunes from 1794 are noteworthy. The Mausoleum of Don Luigi Sturzo, erected in 1962, boasts allegorical sculptures by Francesco Nani and a yellow Siamese marble sarcophagus depicting the sleeping statesman. Galeria Luigi Sturzo. The original building was the seat of the Calatino Senate, with construction starting in 1483. Damaged by the 1693 earthquake, the building gradually fell into ruin until it was transformed into a theater in 1823 by the architect Salvatore Maria Marino. The current structure includes modifications made in the 1950s, and the building owned by the municipality now serves various purposes including housing the Galleria Luigi Sturzo with exhibition spaces and a refreshment service. Check out 20th century La Battaglia di Utica, an 82 square meter ceramic panel by Pino Romano located on the main portico. 20th century Personaggi Illustri, a polychrome ceramic panel based on designs by Professor Antonio Ragona. Food and drinks. Don't miss the chance to savor a cup of coffee at the main piazza of Caltagirone, right in front of the Galleria Luigi Struzzo, to experience the 19th century atmosphere of the, of the Sicilian town. With numerous dining choices available, I opted for Pinza, a Sicilian street food establishment, as it offered the most affordable option in the city center. This quaint restaurant specializes in pizza, a unique type of pizza. Prices range between 4 and 6 euros per portion. Cost. Train. Catania, Caltagirone, 4 euros 20. 1 hour 51 minutes. Bus. Etna Transporti Bus. Catania, Caltagirone, 5 euros, 1 hour 15 minutes. I didn't spend anything on museums. Food and drinks, 10 euros. So my battery will be dead within seconds. Uh, summary of Caltagirone. Beautiful, absolutely stunning town. Perched on a hill here in central Sicily. I really enjoyed it. So the only thing I missed are these little pizza places or some places with fast food. I understand because it's pretty early. It's around 4.45 p.m. and I can even smell pizza now in the air. Okay, there's pizza, I gotta buy a slice. See you soon. recommend spending here around four to five hours that would be enough okay guys that will be all I hope you enjoyed this episode of walking the world I hope that we learned something together about art history uh, yeah I'll see you next time keep dreaming keep exploring and keep living your best life see you what can we learn a visit to Caltagirone in Sicily offers a rich cultural experience, providing insights into the region's diverse history, architectural heritage and daily life, with a particular focus on the town's renowned ceramic artistry, evident in its vibrant tiles, pottery and traditional craftsmanship. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Walking the World. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep dreaming, keep exploring and keep living your best life. Ciao!